Hey guys, Scott here, and we are back in Florum. Tonight, it's all about training. That's right, my party members' levels are way too low, so the majority of tonight's episode is going to focus on just battling wild encounters and getting my levels up to a point where I won't be squashed by the next boss in the game. But to do that, we've got to head right back to this place. Level up! Ring a bell, level 21. The Forum Gardens, an excellent place to train. Just need to go a little bit deeper in here. Out the encounter raid. Let the training games begin. That was actually close. actually quadruple the speed of the battles, but where would the fun be at? Besides, it's always better to err on the side of caution anyway.
Trying to get up to at least a level 23 or 24, if possible. Level 7 White Mage. A bait of water. Not too useful. At least right now. Now, this is the group that I've been hoping for. Get five or six of these Aurons together, and you get a heck of a lot of EXP. Of course, if it keeps paralyzing my entire party. I'm not gonna be too happy. Oh! That's a five hit KO right there. Level up! Nidia, level 5 Spell Fencer. Tis, level 22. Anyas, level 22. Idea, level 22. Ring a bell, level 7, Black Mage. And yes, finally, Black Magic, level 3. A huge drain on MP, but we needed Ring a bell to be able to finally use Fyra, Blizzara, and Thundara. Level 22. 
is level 7 knight. Let's check out this ability here. Shield War. Okay, absolutely useless. Next! Just wanted to make sure I had the silence immunity. Counter rate to negative 100. And time to go back to forum. at level 22 right now. Two more levels, and I should have enough power to take on the next boss. Which, if you guys haven't guessed by now, is actually Ophelia. She does a heck of a lot of damage. like this too often, but really it depends on Ring of Bell because the only reason I'm healing the party is due to Ring of Bell's MP draining. And look at that, not even one step, and we have more mages.
This is the only tedious part of Final Fantasy games. Because this Pokemon, as an example, I really don't need to spend this much time with wild encounters. However, with Final Fantasy, there's always a ton of grinding, and if you're bored to death already by watching me take down the same enemies over and over again, you wouldn't imagine how much worse it would be if I was actually on hard difficulty. Because at that point, honestly, I'd probably need to get to level 30 right about now. Instead of just 23 or 24. Alright, see an improvement already? Ring about getting the first strike. So we don't have to worry about that irritating, paralyzing falling. Level up, tis. Level 23. On yes, level 23. Level Just to be safe, I'll get up to level 25. But by then, we should be good to go. Level up! Idea level 6 Spell Fencer. Magic Armor. Let's check that out. Okay, that's gonna be useless against Mephelia, but that's okay. If I ever run into a guy using fire, ice, or electric type attacks, then that will come in handy.
Also, I was going to say the other good thing about all of these wild encounters is that I am racking up a ton of pee, which I can then use to buy better equipment. Almost at level 24, then we'll have to head back one final time. Once again, to restore Ring Bell's MP, then we get up to 25, and so we'll probably need to go back again to heal, and then we're good to go. Level up, tis, level 24. On yes, level 24. Idea level 24. Critical hit almost did a thousand points of damage. Now, if I did a thousand points of damage every single time Tiz used Stomp, we wouldn't need to go through this rigorous training exercise.
here we go once again. One more level, and then we can continue on in our quest to save the world. Well, supposedly save the world. I always save the land of Lux and Dark at the very least. Actually, come to think of it, I could have bring about use fire right now, but that would drain this MP a lot quicker, so might as well just keep on using fire. survived, I have no clue. Silence 
Level up! Tis! Level 25! Double default! Haven't seen that one in a while. Level up! On yes, level 25. Idea level 25. Twenty-five. Still have eighty-one MP, so might as well use that up before I go back anyway. is faster than human beings will always amaze me. Seriously, it will. Alright, first strike. Level up! On yes, level 8, White Mage. Angelic Ward. Let's check that one out. I like that. 50% chance to have damage. Probably have enough MP just for one more fight. Maybe two. Okay, 
just one. So close to reaching the next job level. You know what? I'm gonna take on one more fight here. And we'll do this manually. Level 8, Black Mage. Black Resonance, I think that's its default ability. Anyway. And yes, it is. And actually, I'm actually gonna have to take one more fight anyway. See, if I was facing a bunch of Alron, then this one be an issue. Oh, of course, now! How convenient. level 26. Idea level 26. Idea level 7. Spell Fencer. Sword Magic level 4, even though I don't have any of the scrolls yet. Tiz level 8 Knight. Vengeance. Nice. is a really useless attack, because if three of my four party members have fainted, chances are I'm going to revive them, rather than put all my faith into just keeping Tiz alive. Plus having all the enemies gang up on him, so that's really rather pointless.
Wow, that took a while. But the training is finally done. So, it's back to Florum. We're gonna check out what kinds of equipment I can give my party members here. And then we are off to the gardens once more. Thirteen thousand one hundred and eighty-one pig. If that isn't enough to get some good high-quality items, I don't know what is. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Tiz has a scimitar. Idea has two. Ring a bell. Rod of fire. And on yes, the Jade Crossier. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Shields. Dia and Tiz don't have them because Tiz is holding the sword with both hands. Idea equipped with two scimitars, so I just need two of these for on yes and bring about. Two of these laurel wreaths. On yes, and bring a bell again. And might as well. Yggdrasil Helm.
Okay, so that should just about do it. I could always boost Ringabelle's special attack further by getting rid of the shield and giving it another rod, but if I do that, his defense will be a disaster. Sort of like Tiz and Adia, so... I just want to check here. HP. I'm gonna make a few quick changes here. Anya's getting the peace ring to avoid confusion, because I need her in prime form to restore the HP of the others.